Hello everyone and welcome to the last Dory Paint video in 2018. Yeah, the year is almost over, it's passed really quickly for me because I was full time busy working on my dolls and today it's finally time for the very last makeover of the year. And for this special repaint I decided to take a special doll it's gonna be my last in stock 17 inch tall Draculaura. Yeah, I need to find some more of them somewhere. It's not easy to buy them here in Europe, unfortunately. So, I'm going to take the big 17 inch Draculaura and I'm going to turn her into a winter bride. It's quite long ago since I made wedding repaints on my channel. The last one was probably a year and a half ago, I would say. So really long ago, so I think it's time to make something special, a beautiful winter bride. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. Put your likes after you watch this video if you really like it. And let's go, let's start the last transformation of the year. So this is how she looks in the box, frightfully tall Draculaura. And now let's open the box and remove the doll's outfit and the accessories. Now I'm going to cut the doll's hair as short as I can. And first I'm doing it with the scissors. And then I take my husband's shaving machine and I trim the rest of the hair. It's quite difficult to remove the rest of the hair from the inside of such a big doll's head. I don't know why, but it is so. So it's really very important to cut the hair as short as you can, because now we will have at least some chance to get rid of it. I've spent probably about 30 minutes trying to remove, to scratch off this hair from the inside of her head. I used all kinds of tools, but you see the result is not that spectacular. But it seems I have found another solution. Using the tweezers I can just pluck out the rest of the short hair. It takes a while of course, but look it works really good. Now her head looks clean and I can remove her makeup using pure acetone. I spray her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to prepare the surface and I apply on top two coats of light amber soft pastels. Then I take a light brown watercolor pencil and I sketch her eyes and eyebrows. I'm planning to give her a very special eye makeup and to make her eyelids more visible now I'm going to draw her eyes kind of half closed and I also want her to look to the side. And I also draw the nostrils and the shadow line between the lips.
Now let's prepare soft pastels. You can see that I'm going to use very natural soft nude colors for this makeup. And now I'm going to contour her face using the pastels we've just prepared. For her special and very creative eye makeup, I'm going to use purple pencils, also blue, pink ones, maybe some yellow and silver also in the end. And let's start probably with the purple color. Then add cold pink to all the transition areas. And to the middle of the eyelids I apply the bright blue color. Then I'm making all the colors deeper using soft pastels. Using the white pencil, I highlight the middle of the upper lid. And then I apply pink pencil to the transition between the white and purple and blue. And now let's probably draw the eyebrows because her face looks quite strange with these very intense eyes and no eyebrows, no lips, so let's put on some more details. Now I think I can start drawing the white of her eyes and the irises. And this time I'm going to give her brown eyes because her eye makeup is already bright enough. So some blue or green or purple color eyes would be already too much here. And I still want to add a touch of this greenish yellow color to the inner part of her eyelids. And now I'm going to add the grey shadows to the white of her eyes, because like this I'm going to show the round eye shape and also the shadows from the eyelashes. And with the red pencil I draw the waterline. I still want to add some more highlights and colorful accents to the irises of her eyes, and then I can finally start working on her lips. And the lips are going to be very natural today, because the main accent is going to her eye makeup. I still want to apply the last highlights and then I can finally take the black pencil and draw the eyeliner and the bottom eyelashes.
With white acrylic paint, I add some more reflections to her eyes, and I think the face is kinda ready for today. And before I blush her body as well, I want first to make a special corset top for her. And first of all, I'm going to protect the body. Then I sketch the top, and then I build it using my 3D pen. You see, it looks quite thick and clumsy right now, so I'm going to smooth a little bit the surface using my Dremel tool. Ok, now it looks already much better. Now I can take all the details off from the doll and still work some more on the sides, making them more perfect. Now I'm going to connect the two back details with the big front one using the pieces of satin ribbon and the 3D pen again. You see, it looks really good and I can tell you it's really strong also. And then I take my Dremel tool and I make a couple of holes on the back. So now our top is almost done and I just need still to decorate it. And first of all I cover it with a good layer of tacky glue and then I cover it completely with glitter. And to protect the glitter after the glue is dry, I still apply a layer of glossy acrylic varnish on top.
And now let's make a skirt for her. I cut really a huge circle out of a pretty white fabric. And now I'm going to turn in the ends, the inner circle and the outer, the big circle. And then I cut an exactly the same circle out of a very light white veil fabric. And then I attach the two circles together using an elastic thread. And now let's customize her boots. First of all, I'm making real holes for the shoelace. Then I paint them completely with white acrylic paint. The soles and the heel I cover with silver paint and then I also add some silver glitter as well. And I complete the boots with beautiful silver shoelace. And since it's a winter wedding, she will need some warm and luxurious mantle. To make her wig, I'm going to use this beautiful curly, dusty lavender color hair. I think it will look amazing with this winter wedding outfit. Oh, and I completely forgot I still need to blush her body as well. Okay, let's do it still quickly. First of all, I'm going to sand her body using the nail buffers like this. I'm removing the glossy top from the surface. Then I'm cleaning the body with an acetone-free nail polish remover. Then I spray it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I blush it with the same color pastels like her face. And in the end, I'm signing my doll. And by the way, it's the last time I'm writing 2018 on my work. Woohoo! It's over, guys! And I still need to complete a couple of tiny details. First of all, I'm applying this beautiful silver sparkling glitter to the middle of her eyelids. Then I'm attaching the false lashes. And in the end I still need to apply the glossy varnish to her eyes and lips.
And of course she cannot be a real bride without a veil. So let's make one and decorate it with pretty silver flowers. And now let's finally put everything together. I warm up the boots a little bit with a hair dryer to make them softer, like this they will leave no scratches on the doll's feet. And she also needs some jewelry, of course. There are still the last details, attaching the veil, adding the warm mantle, and she's ready for the most special day in her life. And I hope I could help her a little bit to feel even more gorgeous. This doll will be available to buy on eBay for 3 days, the link will be in the description box. And this is it! It's difficult to believe, but it was the last doll makeover of 2018. I'm really proud of myself, I've skipped no Friday this year and I can promise you, it's gonna be just more and better in 2019. I want to give no details yet, but I've planned four very special completely different art projects. And I really hope I will have enough time and resources to bring all of them to life. And already the next week Friday I'm going to test my own Christmas gift that will open a completely new chapter in my doll artist career. I hope so. <laughs> so, subscribe to not miss my art adventures, hit the bell button, and of course put a like if you have enjoyed this video. And I will see you already next year! See you in 2019! Bye!